Everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the video that I'm going to share with you today, I will be talking about a possible hidden fortune that is waiting for you. At this very moment, this is something that is available to the public. I have spent a considerable amount of time searching around to see if there is anything that I can take, or if there is anyone else that I know that I can perhaps refer to and possibly grab a little finder's fee for all of that money. It appears like there is approximately $20 billion on the table since I have spent a considerable amount of time searching around. Let's get down to business and go over the specifics one by one. It is now possible to make a significant amount of money. As I mentioned before, there is approximately $20 billion available, and according to the websites and the data, one in seven people are receiving money in the near future. The number is still quite high despite the fact that it only occurs in one person out of every seven and it would appear that they give back approximately $4 billion annually out of the $20 billion that are available in the market. It is possible that it might include items such as, but once again, this is not limited to, but these are just some of the various instances that are available, paychecks, insurance plans, and bank accounts that have not been claimed from. The accounts could be checking accounts, savings accounts, certificates of deposit, or certificates of deposit. Boxes for safe deposit could be the reason. It's possible that it's annuities. It's possible that it's dividend checks. Accounts for investments or brokerages could be included in this category. Again, the list is endless and continues on. I'm just going to toss a couple of them out there right now, but basically it is money that has been out there that we had flowing to us that we didn't realize was out there. <sighs> I'm just throwing it out there. One of the states that you are a resident of, which I will be sharing with you here on this page, will actually take you right to the website of your state, where you will be able to check out the information. Once more, keep this particular fact in mind as well. Consider for a moment that you have relocated at some point in time. I don't know if you relocated from California to Idaho or Idaho to Washington or anywhere else, but I'm going to assume that you moved from California to Idaho. It is recommended that you check both states or all of the states that you have ever lived in if you have ever relocated. Due to the fact that you never know Check all of the states. Perhaps something occurred in one of the states that you had previously relocated from. This could have occurred many years ago. There is a possibility that you could possibly get something from that location, all right? That's yet another helpful piece of advice. Now, there are a few more things that I want to share with you in a very brief manner here. Just for the sake of argument, let's say that you recently tied the knot within the past. I don't know, five, six, ten years or anything along those lines, which is acceptable. In the event that you've ever been married, you should also make an effort to check your maiden name if you so desire, all right? It is not necessary for you to do so. The only thing I'm trying to convey is that things might be different there since it's possible that something is still registered under your maiden name, and then you're done. Maybe there is something that you can take advantage of, all right? Therefore, those are the topics that I would want to immediately bring to your attention. What exactly are the websites then? The two websites that I'm going to share with you are two separate websites, and you are free to check either one of them. Although they should provide you with the same search results, you might still want to check them out, all right? <sighs> I just wanted to say okay, but the websites are listed below. Is it okay to use unclaimed.org, the website unclaimed.org, thus? The letter U-N-C-L-A-I-M-E-D, is it all right? Is it correct that unclaimed.org is the front runner? Well, that brings us to the top website. In all honesty, that one is a little bit more extensive than the other. A comprehensive list of states can be found there. To select your state, all you need to do is click on it. It'll bring you directly to the website for your state treasury, and then again you can search there and they'll give you some details on any potential missing property or anything that you have out there available. Ambiguous money that's out there may be sitting in a bank account, a CD that you forgot about years ago, all kinds of things like this, and you can check it there and again, remember only one out of every seven people have something available to them, and again, it'll give you a rough doll. Lower amount of what is available that you can get. If you would like to stake a claim on something, okay, you're going to have to complete out a form. Nevertheless, once you have completed the form, you will be able to proceed with the procedure of claiming that money. Is that okay? Please, just take a look at that, all right? Okay, so that brings us to the first website, which is unclaimed.org. So that brings us to the top. Following that, what about missingmoney.com? The other one is this one. And once again, this one is fairly easy to understand as well. 
It is a search bar that is located right there. If you want to look for something, you can simply key in your name and then hit the search button. You can also type in the name of your company. In the event that you have ever operated a business of any kind, regardless of the nature of the firm, it is important to note that if you have ever owned a business, you are eligible for this opportunity. You are also able to search for a business name, which means that if there is a payment that is overdue or if you are aware of a missing bank account or something related to a business, you are able to search for it as well, right there on the website for missing money, okay? You may also check out the other website that is available there, which is missingmoney.com, M-I-S-S-I-N-G-I, and m-o-n-a-y.com. Is that okay? The two are as follows then. So, what exactly was I doing? In the beginning of the movie, I mentioned that I also spent a large amount of time browsing on the website. However, I am suggesting that perhaps a small thought here. What I would have done if I had found anything, which, by the way, I have not yet finished searching. I am still going to spend more time searching on that site, but if I had found something, I would have reached out to the person and told them, hey, I found potentially about this much money that you could potentially have coming back to you on that occasion. I don't know, maybe a tiny piece of that money, maybe 10%, maybe 20%, depending on the dollar number that it is. Do you think you could possibly throw me back? If I tell you how to grab it and how to claim it, do you think you could possibly throw me back this money? Obviously, if it is $20, 20% is only $4. I guess you might say that it won't actually accomplish much. Perhaps you could get me a tiny bit such as, well, nothing. It is not going to assist me in any way. As of right now, $4 won't purchase me anything, right? The result would be nothing, therefore. That is what it would get me. However, the point I'm trying to make is that it may be a couple thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, or five hundred dollars. When all is said and done, that would be rather fantastic. Wouldn't you agree? Consequently, if you are able to strike a deal with someone who says, I'll tell you where to get it, if you give me, I don't know, 10%, 15%, 20% or something like that, you could be able to acquire a couple hundred dollars. To put it simply, I am not certain that will be successful. I'm merely claiming that there is no harm in inquiring, isn't there? In any case, there are the websites, unclaimed.org and missingmoney.com to reiterate previously mentioned. That will be checked out for you. It is entirely possible for you to do so if you so desire. What if you don't want to do it? Whatever the case may be, you shouldn't do it. You should not engage in the activity if you do not feel at ease with it. It makes absolutely no difference, is that clear? You should feel free to share the video with your friends on my social media platforms so that they can also check their records and perhaps discover some money here. Retain in mind that if you do not claim it, the state